Yo, what up guys? This is your boy Judah Yugi here. We're going to be doing another how to build video on Duel Links. This time we're going to be uh, building Joey Wheeler's anime version deck uh, with a little bit of red eyes twist into it as well. But yeah, so let's just hop right into it. So here's the deck list right here for Joey guys. Uh, we got one red eyes black dragon, one red eyes black chick, one red eyes wyvern and paladin of dark dragon. This is pretty much the red eyes core for the deck right here. This will help you summon out your ace red eyes black dragon a little bit faster. You are allowed to add any red eyes cards into Joey's deck for dual links because that's part of the rules. Uh, he has the red eyes archetype, at least some of them he does. Like red eyes, the gear feed, the iron knight, uh, red eyes, uh, fang with chain, stuff like that. So they pretty much, uh, red eyes slash track. So they pretty much gave him a few other, uh, red eyes cards, which means he now has his, he technically has, uh, the, for at least dual links anyway, I will, I will allow him to have the red eyes archetype. So he could add whatever he wants. I only added the cards that helped him, like, summon red eyes black dragon faster and whatnot. But yeah, so anyway. That's pretty much the core right there to help you summon your ace faster. We got the blue flame swordsman. We got gear free the iron knight. We got axe raider. Pretty much your beaters in the deck. Straightforward, you know, just to have high attack point. We got exiled force. Very important in the deck because, you know, it'll help you get over some really powerful uh, monsters your opponent controls. Just tribute it and pop their strongest monster, which is really good. We got the fiend mega cyber. He could be special summoned from your hand uh, while your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do. So... He's pretty much just a strong monster you could summon like really uh, much easier, I should say. And then we got the final monster, the final boss, Guild for the Lightning. This is pretty much your secondary boss monster in the deck. Uh, if you are able to activate his effect, you'll be able to pop all your opponent's monsters, which will be just amazing. Next, we got uh, Dark Dragon Ritual to summon uh, Paladin of Dark Dragon. And it, you can banish it on the Graveyard, I believe, to surge a Red Eyes Spell Trap card, which you have uh, two other Red Eyes Spell Trap cards in the deck. Uh, the next Red Eyes spell card, we got Red Eyes Instinct, uh, which allows you to send one Red Eyes monster from your uh, hand or deck to the graveyard to add one Red Eyes spell trap card from your deck to your hand. So that will allow you to search out uh, Red Eyes Instinct from your deck. You don't have many options for Red Eyes spells and traps yet in Duel Links, so just uh, work with what you got here. But um, yeah, so this card is very good early on. If you draw this first turn and you don't draw red eyes instinct then that's good you'll get to search out the trap card and you'll get to send red eyes to the graveyard which is good then we got uh hey trunade this is uh, another proxy that i spoke of in the last video this is supposed to be a replacement for giant trunade that joey has this is the weaker version of giant trunade so i decided hey you know this is obviously an homage to giant trunade they're never going to add giant trunade in the in the in dueling so i'm pretty sure so for for the meantime until they do if they ever do for now hey true is pretty much a a duplicate of that it's kind of the same thing it's just weaker so yeah hey true is there uh, as a replacement for giant true then we got polymerization uh, we got lightning blade uh and then we got overdone burial which is supposed to be a proxy like i said in the last video for premature burial it's the weaker version of premature burial so you can add overdone burial in there discard a monster from your hands to the graveyard and special summon a monster from your graveyard that's a lower level than the sent monster. So send red eyes to the grave or go for the lightning to the grave. Search out one of your lower leveled ones to do some shenanigans and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so pretty straightforward like I said. Then we got uh, Dangerous Machine Type 6. This is a very chancy card, but this is Joey Wheeler. Um, basically, you roll a... a during each of your standby phases, you roll a six-sided die, and depending on the roll, you get a different effect. I tried this out, and I got lucky a couple times, and I was able to either draw a card or pop something. I'm not going to read all the effects now, but um, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a pretty fun, cool Joey card to use, and it can come in handy if you get lucky, uh, which is what Joey does. Uh, then we got the trap card, Red Eyes Spirit. This is pretty much Monster Reborn for Red Eyes Black Dragon for the most part, so... That's what that's there for. We got Kuna with Chain for some defense and attack power. We got Metal Morph for some attack power. It helps you get over some really powerful stuff. Uh, then we got Red Eyes Slash Dragon, the only fusion in the deck right now, um, which is a very powerful fusion uh, for Joey Wheeler for sure. Fuse uh, Red Eyes and one warrior monster. Um, when he attacks, you can equip the warrior monster from your graveyard and he'll gain 200 attack points. If a Red Eyes monster is targeted by an opponent's card effect, you could send the equipped card 
uh, to the graveyard to negate the activation and destroy it. So very powerful card, very powerful. Um, I definitely used this once uh, in a duel against one of my subscribers. It's not up on our channel yet, but I did use it and I was able to win because of it. So that's really fantastic. Um, but yeah, so that's the main deck for you guys. A nice fun map. This is definitely more of an aggressive uh, version, a little bit more focused on summoning Red Eyes Black Dragon and Red Eyes Slash Dragon. So it's definitely a little bit more focused on Red Eyes. Uh, but it's not a full Red Eyes deck, but it is more centered towards Red Eyes. And it's very, it's it's made to be very aggressive. So uh, I haven't tested it out. Like I said, I don't have all these cards yet. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get right into the side deck. We got uh, one copycat. This will be also a nice little tech card to have in case if you want to copy an opponent's uh, monster, um, you know, with the highest attack and then attack into a double knockout and just get rid of something big like that. We also got Rocket Warrior. Uh, can help you get over some stuff. Now we got the all-powerful Jinzo. If you want to add it in the main deck, go right ahead. The reason why I added the Fiend Mega Cyber is because it's a warrior. It synergizes well with the deck and it fuses with Red Eyes Black Dragon to summon uh, Red Eyes Slash Dragon. And Jinzo is a machine, so, you know, obviously Jinzo is really good. So if you want to add it, just add it right in there, you know, and it gets traps. It's very, very handy. Um, but yeah, I didn't add it just for that purpose because I wanted it to synergize with the deck. So the Fiend Mega Cyber synergized well with the deck. And the Fiend Mega Cyber actually special summons itself a lot easier uh, in case if you don't have any tribute fodder monsters on the field. Then we got Gear Free, the Sword Master, and uh, Release Restraint Wave. Both of these cards are in here. So you could pretty much replace uh, Guilford the Lightning uh, with Gear Free, the Sword Master, and then replace some, some other spell card or trap card that you don't feel you need for Release Restraint Wave in case if you want to try out that combo. We got Shield and Sword. For some trickery, we got the warrior returning alive. Uh, we got Shard of Greed, which like I said in the last video, is a replacement for Pot of Greed. So if you want to use this card over Pot of Greed, very good early game, very okay mid game, very bad late game, very bad late game. So uh, definitely definitely start praying that you draw that in your first hand, in your first two turns, uh, and that you survive long enough to use it. Then we got Monster Reborn Reborn as a replacement for Monster Reborn. Uh, this is just a weaker version of Monster Reborn. I added it in there so you guys could use it in replacement for Monster Reborn, like I said in the last video. We got Graceful Dice and Skull Dice. I didn't add it in the main deck because, like I said, I was focusing on a more aggressive version of Joey's deck. So I didn't add that um, in the main deck. And these cards aren't really all that good. You only decrease it by 100. So basically the most is like 600 attack and, uh, attack and defense you'll gain or lose or whatever. We got Magical Arm Shield. Really good uh, to help, you know, in case if you have a monster on the field, your opponent has three monsters, you know, just if they attack you, you switch that attack target to a monster your opponent controls. So you take one of their monsters and then they're forced to attack that one. Then we got Nutrient Z for stall power, you know, uh, to protect your life points a bit. Um, but yeah, that's the side deck for you guys. Uh, next we got the skills. So let's hop right into the skills. Very generic, we got life, life boost A just for life points, nothing too crazy. Then we got draw sense a low level. In the draw phase, instead of conducting your normal draw, draw a random monster uh, of level 4 or lower. I don't know why they worded it that way, but yeah. Basically, just add a level 4 lower monster from your deck to your hand instead of conducting a normal draw, which is really good. That'll help you probably draw out your warriors or your red-eyes wyverns or whatever you need at the time. Obviously, it's chancy, but it could help you get what you need. We got Draw Sense Earth. Uh, let me just double-check the main deck to make sure. That can be used to search out Exiled Force or Actuator or Gear for the Iron Knight. So that's still pretty good. It's only three searches, but... You pretty much get two really big beaters out of it, and if you're running uh, Gear Free the Sword Master in there, then that could be good because if you you know you could draw out Gear Free the Iron Knight and then go into that. Um, but yeah, the the real thing that you want with that skill is to hopefully draw out Exiled Force so that you contribute it off to destroy a really big monster on your opponent's side of the field. Then we got Draw Sense High Level. Um, this is going to be really good for you in the draw phase instead of conducting a, more, a normal draw draw of random. Le monster of level five or higher why did they word it that way it's very awkward anyway um so yeah this will help you search out either red eyes black dragon the fiend mega cyber or guilford the lightning which is in the main deck um so yeah this this will be very helpful because you know you might not have a way to search out one of the warriors that you need or red eyes black dragon sometimes you'll have the warriors you'll have the poly but you won't have the red eyes and you didn't draw the red eyes spell card that you need to 
send it to the graveyard or whatever. This is very handy to just add Red Eyes Black Dragon to your hand. Hopefully you get lucky and you just get that one. You only have three options to choose from, so you have a one in three chance of getting it. So hopefully you get it. Um, and then the final skill we got, Roll and Boost. This is my favorite skill here. I read this recently when I was looking through Joey's skills for this video. And I was so excited because I was like, wow, the skill is really cool. It's very Joey-like and it's actually very useful. So its effect is can be used each time your life points are decreased by 2,000. So when your life points are pretty much cut in half, show one monster in your hand to your opponent and roll a, and roll the dice once. The level of the monster shown becomes that of the die number until the end of the turn. So basically this means you get to reveal a monster from your hand. Let's say you have Red Eyes Black Dragon in your hand. You roll a six-sided die and you roll a two. It basically becomes a level two monster, which means you can normal summon it because it's a level two monster. You don't have to tribute for it. It's amazing. It's really great. The same works for Guilford, the Lightning, Jinzo, whatever you want. Um, the only downside to this skill is if you have a level five or higher monster and you roll, basically if you roll a, a five or a six, then it stays the same and you still have to tribute the monster. So that's, you still have four chances out of six to get um, a low level for that. But other than that, it's, it's really good. But it's, if it's for a level 7 or higher monster, you're set because you're guaranteed to at least uh, get a 6 a six or lower, which is good, which means you'll either be able to tribute just one monster for Red Eyes or, or Guild for the Lightning or just straight up just normal summon it. So that skill is really good. I, I really have to unlock this skill because I want to use this skill in Joy's deck. I think it's going to come very much in handy. I'm very excited for that ability right there. But yeah, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the deck for you guys right there. I know this uh, deck so far has has seemed more uh, towards more like aggressive, definitely because I really wanted to show that Joey's deck can be very aggressive as well. It's not always just you know luck based and this and that. That it can actually be very aggressive. So that's why this deck feels more aggressive. Now, if you now I did build another Joey deck that I'm gonna show right now real quick, um, and it's going to be more focused on kind of like Joey style. So as you can see here, uh, it's uh, like I said, less focused on Red Eyes Black Dragon and, you know, just Warrior Fusion and this and that. And more focused on his more classic stuff. Like, you know, Red Eyes Black Dragon. I only added Red Eyes Black Dragon and Red Eyes Black Chick there. And we got Blue Flame Swordsman, Gear Free, the Iron Knight, Alligator Sword, Baby Dragon, Time Wizard, Exile Force, Jinzo, and Guilford the Lightning. Yeah. So I just wanted, you know, this is more of a fun version. As you can see, it has Shield and Sword. It's got Lightning. Well, it are... I already had lightning, but it has the, the graceful dice and skull dice. It's got, um, you know, j just all that. So it's this is more of a fun version of Joey's deck. If you want to try a more chancy, more iconic version of Joey's deck where it's focused more on, uh, you know, dice rolls and, you know, fusion summoning, thousand dragon, alligator sword and stuff like that. You know, some of his classic, you know, just fun, goofy monsters and, and uh, combos and stuff. Then that's what this one is for. So if you guys want to build a more fun version, uh that's more joey based then use this one if you guys want to use a more aggressive version of joey's deck then then use the one that you guys saw uh see right here on the screen but yeah anyway whoo that's a lot of talking yeah anyway thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys had fun i'm sure this deck is going to be powerful like i said i don't have this yet i haven't tested it out but it looks like it's going to be very powerful so try to build it out let me know what you guys think uh, i will be doing more of these how to build videos in the future uh, so this is how to build Joey Wheeler's anime deck in Duel Links. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys. Gotcha!